So let's now talk about the second type of locations, which are monsters. And the first monster I'd like to talk about are invaders. Invaders are creatures that constitute special locations on the global map. Let's find an example. This Hun right here, for example, is an invader. And you can send out your hero to them in order to obtain various rewards. There are six levels of invaders and there are many types of invaders. So let's click on the invader. You can see you can attack him. You need hero energy in order to attack an invader. So let's add hero energy. Now I have 500,000 hero energy. That is the max you that you can recharge. And I now have the possibility to attack this invader. When attacking the invader, my hero will leave the town. He is out of town and fighting the invader. So let's click it and see what happens. You will see a marching line from my town to the invader. Okay, it was super quick because I have Plunderer, which makes my march super quick. Usually it's a lot slower, but you see he doesn't have 100 health points anymore. He's at 98 right now. So I can decide to attack him further with single hits, which increases the attack bonus here. The attack bonus is depending on what you researched in your Oracle. Another topic for another video. Or if you want to score quickly, you can use the enhanced attack but then you don't build this attack bonus. So let's do this because we need to kill him in order to unlock another location. So let's do this. There he dies. And now we have an invader lair. And we will talk about the invader lair in a second. The second monster I want to talk about are uber invaders um, or even uber invader chiefs. Chiefs are currently not on the map, but we can talk about the uber invaders. These are more powerful invaders that don't have levels. So let's find one. They are located around the place of power in the forest. And these are these guys. You see the icon is different. This is the icon for an uber. And right now we have Everin on the map. As I said, they are located in the millennial forest, which is near to the center of the kingdom where the place of power is located. If you eliminate them, special resource locations will appear on the map. I can show you, I will, I can attack. Let's kill him. Takes 10 seconds until my march arrives. Now he's gone. So once the uber invader is eliminated, you it will spawn a special resource location called uber invader's lair. And that is the one that just appeared on the map. If you click on it, you can already see that you can gather more materials from it. And also the amount of resources that you get is higher. And they will also yield faster. You don't necessarily get more resources from an uber lair compared to a level 6 invader lair but they will yield a lot faster. The next monster I would like to talk about are ghosts. Let's try to find one. Ghost, ghost, ghost. This is a goal. Here we have a few ghosts. We have a twilight fox, a plague raven and a moon wolf. The three are level six. They have 100% health points. And ghosts are spirits that constitute special locations on the map. Their appearance is similar to that of invaders, but they can only be attacked using a shaman and not the hero. The color of the level indicator is the same as the shaman's power color, purple. And by attacking a ghost, you don't get materials. You will get rune fragments, which are required for creating rune. After a ghost has been eliminated, a special resource location, the ghost shelter, will appear in this place. And I will do a demonstration and kill this one here. Let's do an enhanced attack and get this guy killed. Bye bye, Moonwolf. And there we have it. That is the ghost shelter. You can see you get rune fragments from it and also have the possibility to capture it and yield the resources from this shelter. There are also supreme ghosts. There's none on the map right now, so I cannot show it to you. They look the same, but supreme ghosts are more powerful ghosts that don't have levels. Same thing as ubers that we just talked about. If you kill the Supreme Ghost, it will also spawn a special resource location, the Supreme Ghost Shatter, that will appear on the map. Same thing as we just saw for a Standard Ghost. And there can also be Holiday Uber Invaders. They appear across the map during special events. In this case, for example, this footage is from the six year anniversary of Vikings War of Clans. And during this event, they spawned Lost Gifts all across the map 
As you can see, they don't have a level. Um, no locations are left behind once they have been eliminated and they can be destroyed with a single hit. And they can spawn some really interesting stuff. So you got these chests that you can open uh, and get some really cool stuff out of them. Then there are also the monsters of Jotunheim. Jotunheim is an event that takes place once a month. We will talk about this event in a different video or you watch some of my videos that I did about Jotunheim. It's basically a fighting event. But the monsters of Jotunheim appear in Jotunheim. They have a fixed position on the map and they don't leave locations behind after they have been eliminated. So here in this video you can see the locations that are highlighted on the maps um, are these ones here. And if you click on such a location, here you see a lot of towns battling a poor troll. And this is one type of Jotunheim monsters. You can also see they have a different icon, um, so that's an easy way of identifying them. The next location I'd like to talk about are resource locations. You can collect a certain amount of resources in these locations. All the basic game resources and even gold. We'll come to this in a second. A numeric mark above the location shows its level. Um, and the higher the level, the more resources there are in the location and the faster they can be yielded. So let's give you an example. We have a lot of farms around here and we have a level 4 farm that has 189,000, 240, 141, okay it's already been yielded a bit. And we have a level 3 farm with 35,000. So this is basically how you identify the level of the farm. The higher the farm, the more resources it has and the faster it's getting yielded. On a farm you get food for example, on this is one here is stone, you can yield stone as well. There is iron, here is iron and up here for example is wood. So you basically got all the resources that you need in the game, you can get them from those resource locations. The second resource location is Gold of Gods. These are special resource locations that only contain gold. They appear after a kingdom has won the kingdom's battle global competition. The gold yielding speed in these locations is twice as high as in regular gold fields. We will talk about regular gold fields in a second. And in this video here, you can see how these Gold of Gods looked like that's after we won the Kingdom's Battle Global Competition and the Gold of Gods spawned afterwards as a reward for winning this competition. And aside from all these standard resources you can see that there are also these gold resources. So gold fields where you can send your troops to capture or yield gold, in this case 200,000. And the higher you get, this is a level 4 one, let's try to find a higher level one in the middle of the map. For example, there should be some... Here is one. Here's a level 6 one. This one has uh, 900,000. They usually have a million when they are untouched. So you can basically get a million gold just from yielding the, this gold field. Now that we've talked about the gold of gods, we will talk about the gift of gods. The Gift of Gods are also a special resource location that appears after a kingdom has won the kingdom's battle. If a kingdom wins the kingdom's battle revenge, the Gift of Gods level 7 will spawn. If a kingdom wins the kingdom's battle fury and places second, they will be rewarded with the Gift of Gods level 8 and if a kingdom wins the kingdom's battle fury placing first, the level 9 Gift of Gods will spawn. The Gift of Gods contain much more resources and the yielding speed is way higher. The Gift of Gods level 7 that you get from the Kingdom's Battle Revenge win will spawn around the level 6 resource location, so around and in the Millennial Forest. Level 9 Re Gift of Gods, for example, will spawn 
all across the map. And let's now take stone as an example. On this infographic top left, you can see the standard stone tile, the Hewers Camp, that's the in-game name, which has 1 million stone. Has a yielding time of 6 hours. These 6 hours are without any research or multiplier applied. So that's the basic game value. So that it is not actually an hour if I would start yielding stone. Uh, with the research I already have, let's have a look real quick if I go here. It is actually 1 hour 47. Then we have an, a ghost shelter, an invader layer and an uber invader layer that all have 3.5 million stone. The yielding time for the ghost shelter and the invader layer is 20 hours. So it is the same yielding speed resources per second as for a level 6 stone tile with the difference that the invader layer and the ghost shelter have more resources. So you gather the same per second, but it takes longer in total minutes. The uber invader layer also has 3.5 5 million resources but the yielding time is only four hours so it is five times the speed of the level six stone tile ghost shelter and invader layer and the three on the right these are the gift of gods level seven eight and nine and they contain different amount of resources the level seven has 5.2 million a yielding speed of six which equals the same yielding speed in resource per second as an uber invader layer with the difference of having more resources in general the level eight and nine that you get from a win in, in the kingdom battle event fury have a lot more resources. Level 8 has 122 million, a yielding speed of 15 hours. That is 10 times higher as a level 7 or an uber invader layer in yielding speed resources per second. And the level 9 is even better with 255 million per resource location, a yielding speed of 15 times hours which is again a little more than two times the speed of a level eight so th these resource locations are really worth yielding to stock up on resources and an additional motivation to try to win those kingdom battle events